Welcome to GigaMe Videos. In this React tutorial, where we'll create an infinity scroll gallery using the Unsplash API. Let's understand what infinite scroll is and why it's essential. Infinite scroll is a technique that allows you to load and display content dynamically as the user scrolls down a page without the need for traditional pagination. Infinite scroll provides a smoother and more immersive user experience. It's used by many popular websites and applications to keep users engaged and reduce page load times. Let's begin by examining the structure of our React component. In our code, we import React, useState, and useEffect, which are essential for our project. Next, we declare our state variables using the useState hook. We have state variables to manage the photo array, track loaded images, and control the loading state. Now let's dive into the getPhotos function, responsible for fetching images, from the Unsplash API. Inside getPhotos, we construct a URL with your Unsplash API key and the desired image count. We use the Fetch API to make the request and update our photo array with the fetched data. Our application features an infinite scroll, which loads more images as the user scrolls down. We track the number of loaded images using the imageLoaded function. When all images are loaded, we set the ready state to true. In our JSX, we render the gallery using the photo array state. Each image is wrapped in a link that directs to its unsplash page. Finally, we ensure proper cleanup by removing the event listener when the component unmounts. This concludes our walkthrough of the React component. You now have a better understanding of how this infinity scroll gallery with the unsplash API is built. Let's discuss two common errors that developers might face while working with the provided React code and provide solutions for them. One common issue in React is accidentally creating an infinite loop in the useEffect hook. This can happen when the effect's dependencies are not correctly specified. In this code, the useEffect hook is set up with an empty dependency array. This means the effect will run only once when the component mounts, which is the intended behavior. In React, State variables should not be updated directly. Developers might try to modify state variables without using the state updater function, which can lead to unexpected behavior. In the code, the photo array state is updated by directly modifying it, which is not the correct approach. To correctly update the photo array state, you should use the functional form of set state, as shown below. This ensures that you're working with the previous state and preventing issues related to stale state. This CSS code defines global styling for a web page. It sets up root variables for colors, ensures box sizing consistency, and styles the body as a centered flex container. The heading class styles a centered spaced out heading, and the image container class adjusts image margins and responsiveness. The media query adjusts font size and margins for screens with a maximum width of 800px, optimizing the layout for smaller devices. This React application showcases an infinite scrolling photo gallery using the Unsplash API. It starts by loading five random images and dynamically fetches more as you scroll down. You'll see a loading indicator during retrieval, and each image links to its Unsplash page for more details. Thank you for watching the video and connecting with us.